uh, Malaysia has a policy uh, where we uh, do not allow the export of upstream uh, rare earth, uh, raw rare earth and strategic minerals. So this means that if you want to have access uh, to our resources, uh, you need to come and participate in the ecosystem involving the midstream and downstream. So what we've done is we've invited many companies who are interested, please uh, join us. And what does it mean for our economy? The spillover will be there. Uh, spillover to the industries, of course jobs, and will improve our export as well. Because as you said, this is a very critical component of our everyday use uh, today. Right. So let's go to the U.S. China, uh, the U.S. Malaysia trade trade agreement because this actually figured in that. And we'll, according to the annex, uh, to, the, to one of the annexes, actually, that we reviewed quickly, mm. is that uh, it will not restrict the uh, supply of rare earths, or you will not impose quotas towards the United States. But you yeah. do have those rare earth export restrictions. Can you help us understand what this means? Are there curbs going to be on the raw rare earths, or is it going to be on? Uh, and will you you'll be more loose with regards to processed rare earths that are being exported? Help us understand yeah. that that annex and how that, uh, how that co is congruent with the yeah. rare export curves. So what we're doing, uh, and it's not, this is not exclusive to the US, um, is that, yes, you're right, JP, we are going to restrict the export of rare earth in terms of raw rare earth, but in terms of process, processed rare earth, we are not going to uh, restrict that, and we are going to facilitate companies who want to invest in the midstream and downstream, and we're going to allow them to export. And again, it's a commercial uh, deal where companies can deal directly uh, with the off-taker. Right. I'm mm. curious, though, because you know when you see an, uh, an export description or an export curb, the mm. United States could easily look at that and say, aha, that's a non-tariff barrier. Uh, was that a bit delicate to handle when you had your trade talks? I mean, you obviously got to a deal, yes. but did that come up? And how was that handled when, when this came up, actually? Well, you can consider it initially uh, as a non-tariff barrier, uh, but when you look at the whole tariff agreement, um, you have to look at it in the context that, look, uh, this is something that is important for Malaysia uh, and we're not restricting it to US, we are restricting it to everyone, including China, including Japan and Korea. Uh, so we are consistent uh, in, that, in that approach. And, you will see that other ASEAN countries as well, Indonesia and one, has also have done a similar uh, policies. Right. Mm. So does that mean that the United States is going to be investing if, 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 if the curbs are there? <laughs> because it seems that, the, that there is now a linkage in the supply chain between Malaysia and the U.S. Yeah. for these rare earths. Uh, but if you're going to curb the export of these rare earths, does that mean the U.S. is investing in Malaysia? Well, we hope uh, U.S. companies or other companies as well are interested. But what's important is that we are not going to restrict the supply chain. Uh, so we're going to make sure uh, that you know, process rare earth will be allowed to export to the United States. And again, this goes back to this question I always ask you, sir. Uh, as Malaysia tries to be non-aligned and open to everybody else, yes. uh, it becomes more difficult, especially in the sensitive places. And rare earths has become a sensitive area for the United States and China. Um, has there been a, an expression from either side that they're saying, hey, why are you talking to the other side with regards to this at the moment? And how is Malaysia perhaps handling this delicate sector right now yeah well this is just one there's of course semiconductor there are many other sectors that are also deemed sensitive and strategic and when you talk about economic security it's something that both countries are very concerned about the technology especially so for malaysia we are have to be consistent in our policies we signed a trade agreement with us and today ASEAN signing a trade agreement with china so at the, at the same time what is important is that we are consistent in our approach so jp you can't say yes to us to do rare earth and no to China. So for example, so we have to be consistent and not and non-exclusive as well.